Hello, I'm Sean Richards of Not A Yes Man's Economics. Now what I want to talk about today are US interest rates, bond yields, and their implications for US economy and the world economy. Something has changed over the last two or three months regarding the US Federal Reserve, but something else is in prospect as well. What I mean by this is fans of a rather good British comedy series in the past called Yes Prime Minister had an episode where a likely candidate for the Bank of England would cut interest rates if he would get the job. The, the episode then played out in a fashion that he got the job and guess what, he cut them. Now this is partly comedy, partly satire. Those that follow the series will know real life because if we now come to the United States, what do we have? It seems like Donald Trump is pushing Stephen Moore to be one of the members of the US Federal Reserve. What is he? quoted as saying in the New York Times, he'd cut interest rates immediately by half a percent. So that's life following satire, different countries. This comes from a situation here, and this poses a few questions. You might hear people talking about central banks being independent, whereas the American Central Bank, the Federal Reserve, has demonstrated recently that um, it's very hard to maintain that sort of view now. Looking ahead, though, this poses more than a few questions as markets switch over. For example, if we look around the world, this morning has seen another example of the Chinese slowdown, industrial profits being down 14% or 27%, depending which version of the numbers you use. And also in Europe, we've seen that the president of the European Central Bank, Mario Draghi, again hinting at more easing there. And he has talked about lower interest rates. Uh, central banks talk in a very coded language but he's talking about protecting the banks um, in terms of low interest rates. So that means he's seriously thinking of it because central bankers always think of the banks first. So as we move ahead, you can see that there are potentially quite a few changes here. These things come in in the US. Now we need to be a little bit cautious because of course the Federal Reserve has nine members, like the NASCO in Lord of the Rings, and this will only be one new candidate. But the new music's changed there. Jerome Powell's shifted position. There have been quite a few changes amongst the composition. So we could see a phase where the US switches to lower rates. This will bring things into play around the world as they switch too. Of course, some of them are already at that. And so we could find ourselves with much lower bond yields, much lower interest rates. For example, that's already happening to some extent. If you hear talk of the 10-year Treasury note yield in the United States, on Friday, I was looking at it for someone, and it was 2.5%. This morning, it's 2.37%. Might not sound a lot, but that is a shift. And what we also find is in such a situation that those things tend to move slowly when there isn't actually a, a central bank doing something. So there is a bigger move than you think. Playing out into the US economy, where would we expect that to come out? Into matters like mortgage rates, 15-year, 30-year fixed rate mortgages, and also borrowing for companies, as well as the US government borrowing more cheaply. So, in terms of the economy, these interest rate moves will have a big impact. Thank you.